Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay and today I am just going to do a good old fashioned summer essentials video. So my idea for this video was just kind of taking some of like my favorite things or you know essentials. I'm going to just show you guys some of my favorite things to use for summer or some of the stuff that I have like started using so far at the beginning of this summer and what's working for me right now. A little bit of like favorite type stuff and yeah, so we're just going to hop on in to some of these summer essentials. So one important thing for the summertime is to have a setting spray. Maybe not everyone else thinks that, but I kind of find it important um, just because I do sweat a lot. I am sweating right now. Um, I'm just, I just sweat and that's okay. Like everyone does it. But so I have been using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and this is just a little travel size. Um, this has been working wonders for me. Um, I was at a craft and vendor fair last month in May and it was pouring down rain, makeup stayed. And I was walking around all weekend in like the almost 100 degree weather and my makeup stayed. So this stuff has been awesome. Um, I know a lot of people have like raved about this and I've always just used like my Mario Badescu uh, rose water spray. That also works. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than this obviously and there are cheaper alternatives but I have just found that this is something that is working really well for me and I am in a wedding this summer and I'm definitely going to be using this to keep everything intact um, throughout the hot day. So something else that I like to use in the summer is highlight and I know a lot of people say that they do not like highlight in the summer just because they sweat and as I mentioned I'm someone who sweats but um, I do like highlighter I like to I like my sweat to have a little more glow I guess if that's what you're going for like I am then I think that's awesome and one that I have been loving is the ColourPop Super Shock highlighter and this is in the shade lunch money um, I'm about to open this like as if you I've been opening it as if you know like you're gonna be able to touch it or smell it or whatever but um this has like a very buttery feel and like touch to it so i always just use my finger to apply it to my inner corner and even on my cheekbone um you can do whatever you want but if you have not tried it you should definitely try this one um it's at ulta you can order color pop online and i will be linking um everything that i can in the description bar so you can check it out this is something that i have just recently tried um i got a bunch of sample stuff from sephora and this came in there um it is the clinique pretty easy liquid eyelining pen and it is just seriously the best liquid eyeliner i've ever tried like i'm not even kidding I love this. Um, I'm including it in Summer Essentials because it just doesn't run or anything. It glides on, it stays, and it looks really nice. And it, like the name, it lives up to the name pretty easy. Um, I'm a little bit fearful of liquid eyeliner, and this has just been awesome. Like, once this runs out, I am buying more because this has been everything. And, like I said, I was walking around all weekend in the really hot weather, and this did not run it stayed it looked nice i kept it on all throughout the day and night and it's just it's awesome something else i think is good in the summer is a good hairspray um, a really good hairspray that has a strong hold is the um john frieda luxurious volume forever full hairspray and this is just a really nice hairspray that gives that firm hold like you can still brush through it and it will hold so i think this is a good one for if you need to have your hair done for some kind of you know event in the summer like you're gonna be outside but you want your hair to be curled or just have a little more hairspray for volume then this is the one to go with so i am big on seasonal smells um i guess that's the best way to put it um for summertime i really like very citrusy smells i guess you could say so i like to get you know like citrusy candles and um, body soap and lotions. The soap I've been using is this Sugar Crush one and it's the Sugar Crush Energy Boosting Citrus Conditioning. <laughs> and um, this is the body wash because I just have like a tiny thing of the lotion. Got a little sample size of the uh, soap and the lotion um, as a graduation gift. And I bought the large size of the soap because I use the other one for travel and I love this smell. Um, it says lime oil, kiwi water juice, and something else. But it just, it smells like that citrusy smell I was trying to explain, and it also smells, I guess, if you would say lime is a smell, then it smells like that. 
But um, yeah, I really like the sugar or the soap and glory um, sugar crush stuff. I had a an exfoliating soap of this last summer that I really liked. Um, it wasn't this um, particular scent. I almost said flavor. But yeah, it wasn't this scent, but it was just like another good summery smell that I really enjoyed. And Soap and Glory has a lot of good ones like that. So those were kind of like some beauty products that um, I think are important for summer. So now I'm going to move on to like clothing and whatever. One thing that I really like that I think is essential for summer is a good romper or dress because you can dress them up or you can just wear them as casual and it still looks really nice. Um, I'm wearing a romper right now. Um, I'll try to stand up and show you. Um, yeah, it's just like, it cinches at the waist and then it's like the one shoulder. I know that was like a really big style last summer, like that was really in and then I got this last summer. I think that a lot of rompers and dresses are very versatile like that. Finding a good dress and romper is perfect and I guess something that I would give for a tip about rompers because I know rompers fit everyone kind of differently like I have to like really try on rompers I don't like ordering them offline because of this problem um I like rompers that like have like a cinching like this one does because um they kind of just fit my body a little bit better some rompers that really have like I don't know if is cinching the right word <laughs> If they don't have the cinching or whatever in the middle and they're just kind of have like, they have no shape, I feel like I'm wearing like a giant diaper, like the shorts part of the romper looks weird on me. So I like something like this because I think it looks really flattering on my body type. I know everyone's different, but. So if you're in the same boat as me and you feel like rompers look kind of weird on you, then I would suggest trying one like this and seeing how it works out for you in the summer something big is sunglasses and um, in my last video which was my summer haul I got those yellow sunnies which I really love because they're very fun and they're very cool for summer but I also got these and I'm just gonna put them on because I really love these sunglasses and they're just these round ones and I have been seeing a lot of people wearing the round lens sunglasses and I got these ones from Target and I believe they were like 12 I don't know I'll link them below if I can find them and they have this like the detailing around them, I will put them up here, is like, I don't really know how to describe it, but I think it's really cool. Different compared to other like round sunnies. And the other day I was at the farmer's market and I was wearing these and someone yelled out, hey, I really like your sunglasses. And everyone I was with was wearing sunglasses. So we're all like, what? And he's like, yeah, you with the round ones. And I was like, oh, yeah, these are pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. So. A good pair of sunnies, fun sunglasses, I think are pretty important in the summer and I just like to have some really cool sunglasses. I know it's not necessary to get a new pair every year, but I like to just because I like to keep it. Keep, I like to have a little variety. And some other things that have always been essential to me in the summer are Old Navy flip flops. Um, you necessarily have to get them from Old Navy, but they are super cheap at Old Navy and I just remember getting Old Navy flip-flops like when I was really young. Like I remember in seventh grade getting Old Navy flip-flops and one who hates wearing real shoes in the summertime. Um, I don't know why, what that is about me, especially because I feel like you do a lot of walking and outdoor stuff in the summer, so you want comfy shoes, but I'm just not that girl. I want to wear flip-flops and I think having like a nice cheap pair of flip-flops, like I said, they don't necessarily have to be from Old Navy, but just having a nice cheap pair of flip-flops that you can keep in your car for if you are wearing real shoes and then you just want to throw on flip-flops real quick, I think that is awesome. I have like three pairs of these. I have these olive colored ones, which are my favorite, and I have like a neon pink pair and a white pair and yeah they have always been good for me they're easy to just throw on when you need to go to the store and yeah i really like them thing i'm gonna show is another pair of sandals and <laughs> floating with my friends a couple weeks ago so i just wanted like some shoes that i could wear out like on the beach and in the water and i picked these up from walmart and they were like eight dollars and they're just strappy and i call them my adventure shoes and they literally got the job done for being around water. I wore them walking around all weekend and my feet did not get blisters. They did not hurt. And I just like cannot believe how awesome these $8 sandals are. And like they came in clutch. And I love them because they're just little strappy ones and I think they're good for being outdoors. And these are gonna be a new summer essential for me. So I think like a nice 
comfy, strappy pair of sandals that you can wear on your little summer adventures are really good. That's all that I have. Um, I know it was just a few things, but I talked for a really long time, it looks like. And I wanted to share some of my summertime essentials and some of my favorite things I like to utilize in the summer and thought it'd be helpful for other people who might be watching this. I wanted to mention that I am going to list um, a playlist that I really like for summertime music because I really love listening to, uh, I want to say throwbacks, but I mean like oldies, like 80s music. I like to listen to that in the summertime as well as some country songs. So I will list those in descri the description bar down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. You know that is down there as well. And yeah, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.